Erotica Miss Asiana is the UK's first search to find a new South Asian supermodel. Hundreds of girls apply to take part in this prestigious beauty contest, but only one will be crowned Vatica Miss Asiana 2014. The winner will appear on the cover of Asiana Wedding International magazine, become the UK's brand ambassador for hair care brand Velba Vatica, win a one-year modelling contract with mainstream agency BMA Models and a holiday for two to Mauritius. here at the Grand Royale Hotel in London's Hyde Park. It's the day before the Vatica Miss Asiana 2014 finals and we've gathered all the contestants to set them up for tomorrow. So today is the last chance for our contestants to meet with the mentors ahead of the big day tomorrow. They're going to be joined by former Miss England Laura Coleman who they met with just only a week ago who taught them how to walk. Good morning girls, my name is Laura Coleman. I was Miss England 2008 and I'll be your choreographer today. There's going to be three rounds. There's going to be the sari round, which is the opening. There's going to be the second round, which is the fashion round. And the third round, which is the evening gown. Just always be yourself. Uh, don't really copy what other people are doing. Do, you know, the best that you can be. Um, also, just really concentrate on getting the choreography right. When you're on the stage, look at the judges. When you're doing your interviews, just speak very clearly. For the sari round, you're going to be doing your, you know, the pose. But I just want to see your poses. I want you to pose like this. Maybe put your feet closer, to, closer together, and your knees overlapping. So you're going to do your bevel like this, with your legs. That's great. Yeah, and your hand really needs it to be elegant and well turned out. That's brilliant. Now, when we do that, we're going to be doing the turn. So let's try and practice the turn, which is going to be a step forward and round, and step forward and back. That's really good, girls. Laura also gave the girls some advice on how to present themselves in front of the judges and answer their questions. Hi, my name is Carlene and I'm from Edinburgh, Scotland. Thank you very much. <laughs> Hi everyone, my name is Sarah and I'm from West London. Thank you very much. Hello, my name is Natasha Cowdery. I'm from North West London. Okay, you need to be louder. Hello, my name is Sarah and I'm from West London. Okay, you need to be louder. Like when you're shouting at your brothers or sisters when they've gone in your bedroom and taken all the things out of your drawer, how do you feel then? As well as learning how to strut their stuff on the catwalk, the girls also had a mentoring session with photographer AJ from Ignite Media to learn more about the art of posing. Makeup sponsor Roshni from Roshni Hair and Makeup met with the girls to explain the hair and beauty catwalk look she had designed for them. We've worked with some really high-end models um, down to new starters and actually you see such a huge progressive difference between somebody who's very new in the industry to somebody who's very established. Hey girls, for you what we're thinking of is um, basically having the front sectioned off and having it into a really nice Going with the um, new girls, we're looking for something that's a little bit more upbeat, a little bit more contemporary, uh, looking at a bit more punk because you've got really strong features um, and you come across really edgy. So makeup wise, we're going to go for something that's hot, pink, cold, oranges, a little bit more sort of powerful on the lips, and the eyes are going to be quite striking and bold. With these two models in particular, we decided to go for a very retro vintage 1920s look. Uh, with pinned curls, um, the sort of flat waves, thin waves in the front, and I just think it's going to give her a lot of, especially with the definition of the fringe lifted up here. To go a bit more traditional with the look, middle parting, very classic, very clean.
It's one thing to practice your model walk in your jeans, but it wasn't until the night before the grand finale that our contestants finally got to see what they would be wearing on the catwalk. Three beautiful outfits created especially by this folk couturist, Gulji. The girls also received some important advice from health and beauty expert Dr. Sarah Shah. Well shoes, mm -hmm. nice sort of even skin tone. Yeah, that's quite interesting because you're talking about pigmentation and that's actually a very common problem that Asian background people are faced with. A lot of models come to me for um, correctional problems, so they Unfortunately, it's a lot of it is damaged done at a much, much year, um, younger age. So damage to the sun is a very big one. So um, they, they can have problems later on with pigmentation. Um, they can have problems with scarring as well. So those are, the, those are the things that we sort of deal with in clinic. In between final rehearsals, the girls opened up about how they were feeling just hours away from a fashion show that could change their lives. I'm getting pretty excited actually. The clothes are looking very beautiful. The choreography is going very well, so I'm really excited. I was so proud of myself. I was really like, I was really pleased that I'd got through. And then because my sister was through as well, I was really proud of her as well. And it was just good that we were, we're both doing it together. Everybody thinks it's a lot of rivalry and like we secretly don't want each other to win, but I've worked so much harder working with my sister because Obviously, because she's my older sister, I feel like I have to impress her, I have to be good, I have to kind of show off. And we can, and it's just a coincidence that we got partnered together, but we can like criticize each other and we won't take offense to it. I know that if I say to her, you're not doing that right, she won't be like, why are you saying that? You know, she knows that I have her best interest and she has mine. Everyone's been so supportive here and it's just so nice to be able to know that if there's any problems, there's always someone to go to here. So I think that makes you feel a lot more at comfort really as well. You know, it's my dream. It's my dream to be, you know, on the cover of a magazine because it shows that you've worked really hard to be on that cover. <laughs> Today they met with their mentors for the last time. They've seen their outfits, they did their final choreography with Laura Coleman and now it's all in their hands. So they've all gone home to get some much needed beauty sleep and tomorrow they'll be back and we're going to be finding out who is going to be crowned Buttercup Miss Asiana 2000. <laughs>